Thursday, there will be a plenary session of the Parliament. Can you give me an idea of what we can expect that, to come out of that session? Well, we don't know the, the exact agenda of, the, of, of Thursday, so I, I cannot tell you exactly what's going to happen. But the, the, the purpose of the plenary session is just to, to, to give uh, an answer of the, of the Catalan Parliament to the application of this article, uh, to, to, the, to the meaning of the application of this, the article. The speculation is that on Thursday there will be an announcement that comes out of Catalonia of independence. Are you expecting that to happen? Is that going to happen? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I, I think that it's the only, the only way, way out. I think so, because um, they're going to apply the 155 mm, anyway. So, so if not, what other option do we have? As things stand now, is there still any room for negotiation left between the two sides? At this moment, I don't think so. We've been asking for negotiation, we've been asking for dialogue for lots of times, and they have always said that, that, that there's no possibility of dialogue. There's no way of finding uh, a way out because they don't want to talk and they don't want to, to negotiate at all. One of the major speculations is that there will be violence. Is there a guilt, a sense of guilt among yourself, your colleagues, um, that this momentum, uh, that, that there's some responsibility for that? I, I imagine that for, for some politicians, right now it would be easier to say, well, let's stop it. Let's stop it because uh, we don't want people to be hurt and, and just, just let's, let's do another thing. and. We'll see in some years if everything's different and we can, but I think that people wouldn't accept that, never. We are now where people have decided us to be. And we just, we have, we have answered the, the decisions of, of the streets, the decisions of, of the majority of the, of the people of Catalonia.